On November 14, 1967 versus the Philadelphia 76ers, Nate Thurman guarded Wilt Chamberlain. For the first time in Wilt's career, he did not score a field goal. But there is more to it. This is the year that he wanted to lead the league in assists. Uh, and he okay. did have 13 assists that night okay. and 18 rebounds. But he didn't shoot the ball one time against you in 44 minutes? Yeah, well, you know, if, you know, I think that sometimes Wilt overplayed that assist thing that year. You wouldn't hold Wilt scoreless. I mean, you know, I, I've held him down some, but mm -hmm. he wouldn't hold him scoreless. He was concentrating on assists. He was an incredible defensive basketball player. And for me, with no knock at all to Bill Russell, defensively, he played me as well, defensively in that one aspect, because he knew a lot about uh, my moves and my and my, my game. There's no question he had respect for me. I, you know, I blocked some of his shots and, and that type of thing. And like I said, I, I practiced with the guy for mm -hmm. a year and a half. Nate Thurman, who was a dear friend of mine, I watched him come into the league on the same team that I played, and we worked together and played together, and we were very, 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 very close. But my buddies were on my team, or they were buddies who played other sports, or they were buddies who didn't do any of those things. Mm -hmm. But um, that was the way that I had to be. So I, I think uh, it's appropriate. I was a warrior. Now established as one of the premier centers, along with Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain, Nate was in his prime. But a new young force was about to enter the league, Lou Alcindor. In part two, the Warriors, now without Rick Barry, and led by Nate Thurman, face new challenges. These challenges, and how he met them, will ultimately take Nate Thurman to the Basketball Hall of Fame. <laughs>